Absolutely. While the solemnity of the Assumption of Mary has been the subject of paintings for centuries, including one work from the 1600s currently at the National Gallery of Art right here in Washington, D.C. We go now to Jem Sullivan, Associate Professor of Practice in Catechetics at the Catholic University of America and author of The Beauty of Faith. Jem, great to have you back on. Um, so for how long has the Assumption of Mary been depicted in art? Thank you, Tracy. It's good to be back. It was Pope Pius XII who, in 1950, defined the dogma of Mary's Assumption. But well before that, belief in Mary's bodily assumption was in Catholic devotion for centuries. And from that long-held belief, painters and sculptors, musicians and poets have for centuries brought to life Mary's assumption in paint and stone and song and in words. So well before its formal definition by the church, we have many beautiful hymns and works of art that offer a visual catechesis on Mary's assumption. And Jem, tell us about this just beautiful image of Mary's Assumption from the National Gallery of Art. Sure, Tracy. This scene is a sketch based on an altarpiece completed by Peter Paul Rubens, the master Baroque painter of the 17th century. And Rubens painted scenes with movement and intense color. And this replica is a good example of his style. It was likely completed by his assistants in his studio. We see God assuming Mary into heaven as she's carried up by a host of angels. Everything in the painting is moving to where two angels hold a wreath of flowers. They are ready to crown Mary as queen of heaven. And below them is Mary's empty tomb, surrounded by a group of Old Testament figures and apostles. It is thought that the gospel women named Mary are present in this scene. And in this group, one of the apostles stands with his arms outstretched, to heaven in praise of God. His perspective is meant to be our perspective as we join the church's celebration of this moment when Mary's earthly life draws to a close. And Jen, before I let you go, uh, tell us, what does this artistic vision of the Assumption tell us? Tracy, the Catechism tells us that God's work of assuming Mary, body and soul, into heaven continues the great divine work in the life of the woman that God chose to bear his divine son, Jesus, into the world. In a way, Mary's entire life, from her immaculate conception to the Annunciation to the death and resurrection of Jesus, her son, her entire life was a preparation for her assumption, body and soul into heavenly glory. God's gift, as it were, to Mary at the end of her earthly life. And so this artist's creative vision reminds us that God desires that we follow in Mary's footsteps. And the final destiny of life is to be with God for all eternity, to join in that endless praise of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in the company of the angels, the saints, and Mary, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, and our Mother in Faith. Well, Jim, thank you so much for coming on and sharing all of that with us. We really appreciate it. God bless you. You're most welcome, Tracy. Thank you.